Hello and welcome to this lecture where I shall provide an overview of what the Identity and Access Management Service is and what IAM actually means. Firstly, I want to define what is meant by Identity and Access Management. I shall break this down into two parts, starting with Identity Management. Identities such as AWS usernames are required to authenticate to your AWS account. Authentication is the process of presenting an identity, in this case a username, and providing verification of that identity, such as entering the correct password associated. The second part, access management, relates to authorization and access control. Authorization determines what an identity can access within your AWS account once it's been authenticated to it. An example of this authorization would be the identity's list of permissions to access specific AWS resources. Access control can be classed as a mechanism of accessing a secured resource. For example, username and password, multi-factor authentication, MFA, or federated access. So essentially, IAM can be defined by its ability to manage, control, and govern authentication, authorization, and access control mechanisms of identities to your resources within your AWS account. Let me explain what the service actually does. As I just explained, the AWS IAM service is used to centrally manage and control security permissions for any identity requiring access to your AWS account and its resources. This is achieved by using different features within IAM consisting of users. These are objects within IAM identifying different users. Groups. These are objects that contain multiple users. Roles. These are objects that different identities can adopt to assume a new set of permissions. Policy permissions. These are JSON policies that define what resources can and can't be accessed. And access control mechanisms. These are mechanisms that govern how a resource is accessed. Within AWS, some services are regional and some are global. IAM is a global service, meaning that you do not have to create different users or groups within each AWS region that you have resources. IAM covers all regions. IAM is the first service a user will interact with when using AWS. The reason being, the identity needs to be authenticated by IAM before accessing any AWS resource. This could be via the AWS Management Console within your browser, or via the AWS Command Line interface using an API call trying to gain access to a resource. It's critical to understand how IAM works and what can be achieved via the service, but it's even more important to know how to implement its features. Without IAM, there would be no way of maintaining security or control of who or what could access your resources and what they could do with them, both internally and externally. IAM provides the components to maintain this management of access, but it's only as strong and secure as you configure it. The responsibility of implementing secure, robust and tight security within your AWS account using IAM is yours, the owners of the AWS account. You must define how secure your access control procedures must be, how much you want to restrict users from accessing certain resources, how complex a password policy must be, and if users should be using multi-factor authentication. All of this and much more is down to you to architect and implement, and much of it will likely depend on your own security standards and policies within your information security management systems. From within the AWS Management Console, the IAM service can be found under the Security, Identity and Compliance category and when accessed, it will take you to the IAM dashboard. From here, and if you have the correct permissions, you will be able to administer all security from an IAM perspective. The initial dashboard of the IAM console will display information relating to the IAM user's sign-in link, and this is a URL link that you can send to users who will need to gain access to your AWS management console. This link can be customized by clicking on the Customize button to make it easier to remember and read. If you had multiple AWS accounts, this customization would help you distinguish between your accounts. IAM Resources. This section provides an overview of your IAM resources using a simple count of the number of users, groups, roles, customer managed policies, and identity providers you have configured within IAM. Security Status. This is populated with five best practices from a security perspective that AWS IAM recommends you configure when using IAM, which may include Activate MFA on your root account, create individual IAM users, use groups to assign permissions, apply an IAM password policy, and rotate your access keys. When you implement any of the listed best practices, the status of them will change from an orange warning sign 
to a green tick to show you have achieved and implemented a recommended best practice. I recommend you try to adopt these best practices at your earliest opportunity. Maintaining tight security is paramount when working with an IAM solution. Now we have a clear understanding of what is required, let's get started with the training.